Hi, welcome to Total Recovery 2020, your set time to bounce back. I am your humble servant, Reverend Seth Amiyaudankwa. For the past three days, we've been looking into the effects of frustrations on our lives and the signs of frustration in our businesses and in our lives. And so today, I'm going to touch on the subject, principles for reviving your business. It can be your personal life as well, whatever you are doing. So today, I will be giving you three keys why businesses fail or why we fail in business. In my research findings as a business coach on why businesses don't survive and existing ones don't last and collapse over time, I discovered several factors. I realized that the findings can be grouped into two. Thus, the lack of business acumen and the lack of spiritual principles. Most rich and successful people in the world believe in the existence of a supreme being. Though they may not believe in the God that we serve, that is the God of Abraham, and so they resort to all forms of spirituality for cover and assistance. But as a pastor, I can only refer you to the God of the Bible as the source of all power and wealth. We need to study the Bible and apply the principles thereof. So now here comes my three reasons that I found as to why businesses collapse and existing ones don't last. One, I discovered the lack of diligence. In the book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29, the Bible says that do you see a man diligent and skillful in his business? He will stand before kings and will not stand before obscure men. So you need to be skillful. You need to be diligent. What therefore is diligence? Diligence is the quality of being determined to do something or being determined to achieve something. It also means being careful or paying careful attention to whatever you are doing a lot of people do not pay, pay careful attention to their business they will be following friends traveling here and there sometimes it is not even necessary and it is not related to their growth or the promotion of their business the second thing i also came to realize is that people are not smart enough that is to say slothfulness laziness in the book of romans chapter 12 verse 11 the bible says that work hard and do not be lazy serve the lord with a heart full of devotion according to the gnt translation so you need to work smart working smart is not using dubious means but applying strategy going ahead of your peers we will talk about this in subsequent editions. The third point I also came across is the lack of strategy. In the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 8, Jesus told the parable, and in the parable, a man who was shrewd, other versions call him clever, he applied a certain principle and he was able to get something to be given to the manager. That is strategy. A man sat beside the pool for 38 years and said, I have no one. He had no strategy. Another crippled man also was there. The family took him, dropped him from a rooftop in front of Jesus Christ. That is a strategy. Martin Luther King Jr. said something. He said, if you cannot climb, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. And if you cannot crawl, at least do something 
to get going. So you need a strategy. In subsequent episodes, maybe I'll have to touch on strategy, how to develop strategy, a winning strategy. So I come your way with another edition. This is your humble servant, Reverend Set Ami Adankwa. Total Recovery 2020, your set time to bounce back. Shalom.